Okay, um, this will be my second part of what's in my tackle box. I didn't want to make the first one too long, so, I mean, if you see a 20-minute video of what's in my tackle box, I mean, there ain't going to be a lot of people who watch it. So, um, starting off, this is my Flambeau Outdoors tackle box. Um, uh, I got these little worms right here. I don't, I've never used them. I don't really have a hook that I could really use them real good with. So I ain't really used them. Here's a popper I used. Uh, it's a cheap Ozark Trail. I don't. Uh, I've never really had a lot of work look, with poppers like these. I've had to work with luck with topwater frogs, and actually, uh, I forgot. I got a booyah pad crasher. So here it is. Uh, I thought about trimming the legs a little bit, but I didn't. Uh, over in here. These right here, they absolutely suck. They're made for trout, but the hooks on them are just so dang weak. I just can't imagine them working. They, I hooked a smallmouth one, and uh, as you can see, that was the final result. The hook's crooked. It's ruined. I need to throw this in the trash. I got a dang ass about bad. Uh, you got a huge. I got a chatter bait, a buzz bait, and a spinner bait. Uh, there we go. I tried this once and I got a hit, but you know I'm I'm a good fisherman, so I whiff pretty bad. I just got this in here because uh, I was using it a day ago and I didn't have my soft plastic box with me, so. I was gonna change and change lures. I already had this rigged up on my pole, by the way. Uh, so I just tossed it in here. Here's a X Rapper Paula jerk bait. Uh, I had a lot of luck on these. I have one like this, except it's it's a uh, orange and black instead of clear and black. I don't know what color this is. I got one of them Yum Finesse Worm Packs. Um, I tried one of these once. Or was it these? No, it wasn't these. It was this one. But everyone started, I was using it, and everyone else started getting hit on crankbait. So I just took it off, and I tied on. I'll show you what I tied on. Tied on this bad boy. And I've had some luck out of this sucker. It's a uh, it's, uh, Berkeley... Uh, some, it's a square bill, bluegill looking thing, uh, it's good, and I bought it in a pack, and it came with, uh, it came with another, and the other one's right down here, okay, let me put this back right here, I got one of these, I had, it came with two of them, um, let me see what we got going right here, now, um, if I had an owl choice to, uh, Pick. I, I, I love going away fishing. It's one of my favorite ways to fish. Uh, here's a deep diving crankbait. It's Ozark Trail along with this. This is a... I forgot what these are called. I ain't got the best of me. It's like a... It's a lipless crankbait. There we go. It, it sinks. And, uh, it's... I've, I haven't had a lot of luck with them. I used them last year. Whenever they were spawning, I never had a lot of luck. I tried to get one of these this winter. I didn't catch nothing on it. Um, I know I'm really bad at making videos, but I'll try to get better if I start, you know, gaining some popularity, which I doubt I will. I got a mess here. It's just a bunch of stuff that fell into the bottom of my tackle box. And everything. I tripped one time because uh, I'm a clumsy idiot. And, uh, yeah, it screwed a lot of stuff up. In my last video, you saw that um, I, I cut one of these up. And used it as a smaller uh, wacky worm rig thing. So here's a full size one. Uh, it's it's got a lot of action to it, uh, and I do like them. My my mama has a lot of luck on catching fish with these right here. Except it ain't in this color. She just catches a lot of fish on lizards. The color we use a lot is chartreuse pepper. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, these and these, like I said, they work good. These right here, they're, I think they're, yeah, they're a dinger, and these are a smaller dinger. Well, I'm getting ready to go on my shopping spree once uh, the grass starts growing, and I can weed a bit. 
Um, I do try to do some gun reviews, I guess, huh? Some bow reviews, and, yeah, this a whole different stuff that I hope y'all like, and, you know, maybe I can do this as a full-time, you know, that's my dream, like, do that, and do some redneck stuff, yeah, just, you know, do my everyday stuff, like hunting, fishing, vlogs, I guess whenever I grow up and get some cars, do work on cars, and, you know, stuff like that, uh, that's my first pack of box. Moving on to the next one. It's another foam bow. I, I personally like it. It's got a little compartment uh, on the top right here. You can pop up and store whatever you need right there. So let's crack uh, into this one. Got a... I just call these ketchup and mustards. Uh, spinner bait, but it's yellow and red. I got these... Uh, they're Rebel poppers. I got... That and I got this and uh, I know I said this, I'm just bored and then show y'all what I use. Uh, this is a chrome colored one. I ain't never, I really never have it. I've caught probably 13, I've caught probably uh, 15 fish on poppers. Here's a small lunker hunt prop frog. I could probably catch some fish on that. They spawn. Not spawn, but yeah, maybe no um, night fishing. Cause the, where I live, there's a lot of people who have look night fishing. Here's a striper jig I got. It's uh, I've never used it. It's bucktail. I've I'm not big on striper fishing. I'm more of a bass fisherman, catfish, catfish fisherman. Uh, here's a little jerk bait I got. I get I'm. I'm not, like, rich or anything. Uh, I don't get name brand. I get a bunch of cheap stuff. But, you know, there ain't nothing wrong with getting cheap stuff the way I see it. I, I have a lot of luck on cheap baits. Uh, here's two more jerk baits. Uh, I'm over here. There's some jig heads. I, those lucky strike jig heads I was talking about last video. Here's a small little lipless crankbait I need to throw in with my, uh, <coughs> throw in with my <coughs> favorite fishing kit. Um, here's a bobber I found on the side of the lake down there on North Fork. Here's a crow tail worm kit I have yet to open. It's luck strap, so I've never really used their soft plastic. They're like a cheaper brand, but, you know. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with cheap grains, you know what I'm saying? Um, here you go with them. They, uh, here they are. They got what looks to be tequila sunrise. Some just black and bubblegum. Plain black. And like a watermelon and, uh, I want to say, it, uh, yellow. Poop yellow. There's, a um, their lipless right here. I'd say it's got a bit more flat to it, so I'd say it'd work good. Uh, let me see if I can get this little string off here. There's one of my crankbaits. Uh, I forgot what brand this was. My mom got it for me as a present on Easter. Here's a pearl-colored one. I've never used these. I never really use this box a lot. I always forget it at the house. Here's a black and silver kind of sparkly-looking deal. I'd really like to get me a uh, uh, GoPro and try to do better videos for y'all, but as of right now, I just got my phone and, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another crankbait of mine. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but I hope y'all enjoyed uh, these, two these two videos about, you know, what I use when I go fishing. Hopefully, I help someone out. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm by no means trying to like show my stuff off on the around us. I'm just trying to show y'all what I use and maybe give y'all a recommendation of what to use if you're having troubles catching fish, you know. I mean, you don't, you don't never know if something works till you try it. And fishing a lot of times is about finding what the fish will eat and, you know, trying to throw what they want to eat. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe and, uh. 
I'll catch you next time on my channel. Uh,